This video is our second week in the Sturgis Black Hills, South Dakota area. Yep, the motorcycle rally is over, the people are gone, and we're gonna take you on some cool rides and see some cool places. Right now. If you missed part one of our Sturgis motorcycle rally video, then you missed the part where we tell you where we're staying, which is Rush No More Campground in Sturgis. Yeah, really great campground. Totally different scene there after the motorcycle rally was over because it was abandoned. We had like the whole top tier was like us and one other camper, I think. <laughs> yeah, but it's completely pretty nice. different. Very quiet, almost lonely. It was a little bit creepy. Yeah. Everybody's gone. We have we have the place to ourselves. Including including me. Yeah. I'm just like staring at Daisy. Yep. Our overall stay in the Sturgis area was two weeks. The first week was the second half of the big motorcycle rally. Yeah. So this week is the after part, which we were looking forward to. Yeah. Unfortunately, our motorcycle riding friends are all gone, but we still have some friends in the area. Mm -hmm. And some more motorcycle riding friends we meet later. Right. All of our friends are gone, but our jobs aren't gone, unfortunately. Right. So. We did still have to work, but we were able to get out about three o'clock since I work on East Coast time. Yeah, and so our first ride after the rally was over was a pretty exciting one for us. We're going to see the president. That's right, the Sturgis rally is over. So we're heading to Mount Rushmore via mm -hmm. the Needles Highway. Needles Highway, what's the other one? Iron Mountain. Iron Mountain. We were told that those are both some cool rides. Yeah. So there's a loop that you plotted out that's like a three hour round trip loop. So hopefully we get to do the whole thing. Yep. So let's get going. So we had to go through Keystone. Yeah, Keystone seemed like a cute little area, seemed pretty touristy, but we didn't really get to explore Keystone at all other than riding through it. Yeah. So when we got to Mount Rushmore, we weren't really sure what it was going to be like, but it was very organized with the parking situation there. A lot like Disney, I think. It was. I didn't know what to expect. They're very good about directing you and getting you to parking. I don't think you'll have any trouble finding a spot. They actually have many different garages and levels, and you get a level number and like a garage number or something like yeah. that. So you have to follow the signs and make your way through it, but it was pretty easy. We have made it to Mount Rushmore. Yeah, you get a ticket when you come in, but you pay up here at the top. Yeah, so let's go pay. When we got up here though, I was, I mean, I was a little disappointed because I don't know, in my head, Mount Rushmore was a lot bigger. I just pictured it like ginormous. Well, 
there was an issue and the issue was it was under construction so we couldn't really get past the main like, welcome area so i think that if we were able to get closer to it it might have seemed a little bit more grand the same thing is under construction yeah that kind of stinks yeah this is about as close as we can get to it this is the closest we can get to it so, so. It is what it is. Yep. We made it. We're here. And so to get pictures of it, we had to like hold Our the camera first time up. I'm ever seeing Mount Rushmore, and it was under construction. It's kind of a drag. It was kind of a drag, so we didn't stay for very long, which was okay because we had a lot of cool writing to still do. You think they would have charged half price or something? Oh no, <laughs> they got to pay for that construction somehow, right? That's true. We did pass a lot of campgrounds on the way there, so if you're looking to camp near Mount Rushmore, there looks to be plenty around there. There's so much to do in this area, yeah. so you're gonna find a lot of different choices and types of campgrounds all in the Black Hills area. Mm -hmm. So we were super excited to head to Needles Highway because we've heard a lot yeah. of great things about it. Needles Highway is South Dakota Highway 87 and it's a national scenic byway. It was actually completed in 1922. And when you see this road, you're gonna be like, wow, that was quite a feat for them to oh, accomplish yeah. back then. Yeah, a lot like the feat when they did glaciers going yeah. to the Sun Road. That kind of construction and that kind of terrain in, in, in that era is amazing. Yeah. Needles Highway actually is within Custer State Park, which is a huge state park, yes. 71,000 acres. Yeah, and it's actually located about 30 miles south of Rapid City. Yeah. I always wondered why they call it Needles Highway. I thought maybe because the roads were real narrow like a needle yeah. or because some of the passes are like the head of a needle, yeah. but it's actually after the large spires that you see going up the sides of the mountain. There are plenty of places to pull off on the side of the road if you want to stop and take pictures and get a good look at the views. Speaking of pulling over, there are some places you have to pull over. There are some parts of that road where it's one vehicle wide, not a wide vehicle either. Yeah. I don't think our truck would make it through there at all. I actually all. like your theory on why it's called Needles Highway because it seems more like you yeah. got to thread the eye of the needle <laughs> to yeah. get through some of these tunnels. This is the Needles Eye Tunnel right there. I don't know how you figure out when it's time to go. I don't know. <laughs> and there's no light or traffic cop or anything up there. You just kind of yeah. have to work with whoever's on the other side and say, okay, you, me, me, you, you. <laughs> but it was kind of cool. Like Chad said, the Custer State Park is huge. It encompasses 71,000 acres in the Black Hills. And in the state park, you can camp, hike, bike, swim, fish, you know, all the good stuff. 
Speaking of camping, there are several campgrounds within Custer State Park, too. Yeah, surprisingly, there are eight campgrounds there. I guess when you have 71,000 acres, you can fit quite a few. Yeah, and we didn't look into this, so get online and check it out and see if your size rig can fit in there. And I have a feeling that those sites book up quickly, so do it in advance. Pretty sure there's no cell service. Probably not. It was a really cool ride. You know we love mountain rides and lots of switchbacks and curves and tunnels and it was a really cool ride. Definitely a road worth riding, whether you're in a car or on a motorcycle, check it out. Don't take your dually. Don't take your dually. <laughs> Apparently Custer State Park is really well known for a large amount of wildlife. That Guess we how much we see. saw? <laughs> Donut. And we didn't see any. So, you know, you know my fear of bears, so I was okay with that, but it would be cool to be able to see some elk or <laughs> moose or something. Unfortunately, this was our only experience in Custer State Park. It's a big park that we could have done a lot more riding in, but we didn't have time that day. But we're looking forward to going back. Definitely can't wait to go back there. If you know of a really cool place that we missed, like we got a comment on our part one about a motorcycle custom shop in Deadwood mm -hmm. that we want to go back to, things like that, we'd love to hear about them. We go to these areas, we're not experts. We're experiencing it for the first time, just like you guys might be experiencing it for the first time. So clearly we're gonna miss a lot of stuff, but that's why we can go back whenever we want mm -hmm. and explore things. Yeah, and for the record, we're from Florida. We don't have moose or elk. Yeah. So we don't know what those things are. Plenty, plenty of you have already informed us that the moose that we saw in our, what was it? Yellowstone. Yellowstone in our Yellowstone video are not moose, they're elk. Okay, we know. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, clearly we make mistakes. We don't know everything. We don't pretend to know everything. It's, this is just our experience. If you watched our part one, you know that we watched the Deadwood series and got to know a lot of the characters like Wild Bill Hickok, Calamity Jane, mm -hmm. Seth Bullock. I, you know, we got to know HBO's interpretation of them. That's right. <laughs> and when we went to Deadwood the first time, that was during the rally and we were just there to meet our friends and go for a ride. So we didn't really explore Deadwood, mm -hmm. but we wanted to go back because we had just finished the Deadwood series. So we were pumped. And part of that, we wanted to go see where all those cool characters are buried. Their actual cemetery is Mount Moriah Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Right behind us is where they laid Wild Bill's body to rest. And Calamity Jane, I guess at an angle or something. So Yes. Well, the cemetery is right behind us and so it's only two dollars a person to get in. It's open till 6 p.m. and so we came after work to check out the graves. I've never been so excited to see uh, like a cemetery? tombstones before my life. <laughs> Yeah, she got buried right next here, right next to Wild Bill. There is quite a bit of walking to do if you want to see a lot of the well-known infamous people that are buried in this cemetery. Yeah. But we definitely wanted to see where Sheriff Bullock was mm -hmm. buried. Seth and Bullock. Seth Bullock. And apparently it was at the top of the hill because that was his wish. We were a little bit worried because it seemed like it was going to be a long walk to get up to the top. But we had asked a couple as we were walking if it was a strenuous walk up there or if we had much further to go and they're like oh no we don't have much further to go at all they lied <laughs> it's a pretty subjective question it's true i mean when we're not in shape it's a lot harder but i want to warn you guys because wear <laughs> yeah <laughs> wear comfortable shoes if you want to go all the way to the top because it is quite a distance yeah it's a lot of climbing to be done 
yeah. in this cemetery. But we're almost to Sheriff Bullock. That's why it's probably so. called Black Hills, because there's hills. Yeah. Yes. Holy crap, look, it keeps going. <laughs> I mean, we're in it now. Starts out small, then you realize there's more to it. You know, we saw some a couple at the bottom, and they said it's not, it's not that far. Well, not that it's short. One of, it's one of those things that once you get this far, I mean, might as well keep going. Those people that said it wasn't very far seem like nice people. Guys, they didn't wear the right shoes for this. I didn't wear the right body. Yeah. <laughs> It better be right up here. Just right up here. Okay. You can see Deadwood way down there, so you can see how far we've come. There was another couple up here, and they agreed that it was quite strenuous. So, just letting you know. What's my current altitude? It appears you're at 5,024 feet. Okay, well, we did climb a little right bit. Now. The reason he's buried up here is because he was good friends with Teddy Roosevelt and Teddy Roosevelt built some kind of tower. There's a friendship tower that apparently you can see from here but you can't anymore because of trees. the trees. Stupid but trees. apparently if we kept going up we might be able to see the tower. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, there's a high point way up there which we will view from here. But you can go actually see the friendship tower. You ready for the descent? It really wasn't very crowded, but we apparently went into a good time because as we were leaving, a big tour bus was yeah. just arriving. And so. you know those people are all going to stand around the famous graves yeah. of Wild Bill and Calamity Jane. And so we were very lucky to get out of there before that bus arrived. Yeah. And then of course, we were starving. Oh, God, yeah. All that hiking up to the top made us hungry. So we wanted to get a good steak. And we asked the lady yes. in the ticket booth, where should we go? And she gave us a couple of options. And we chose to go to the Deadwood Grill, which is at the lodge at Deadwood. In the casino there, There's I think. a casino there, yeah. yeah. Mirror shot. Of me and my reading glasses. <laughs> I can't read this menu without them. I think we're the only ones here. Oh, there's a couple over there. Is there? Yeah. Really Everybody's at the bar. But I think we were one of maybe two tables in the steakhouse. It was probably like 4.45 in the <laughs> afternoon because our- Our body, our we're body's still on adjusting East Coast time. to Yeah, so it was really early, but that's all right. The food was delicious. We got a good steak. Oh yeah. And I went back there and played some poker. You did? Yeah, remember? Cud? <laughs> Oddly enough, Deadwood, this place where like the wild, wild west, has some really strange laws around their poker pots and sizes and wasn't really very good. I don't know anything about it. You like my chalice? <laughs> my, my chalice is, of wine. That is a giant thing of wine. Cheers. I need two hands. We're going to the top secret, super secret. Mm private item. <laughs> We're going to a top secret location. Speak easy. Yes. So we are meeting Jason and Ray again and we will try to do a better job at filming like our experience hanging out with Jason and Ray this time because we sucked. Yeah, you know. We'll we get did. a little we'll do a little better. Oh, there's no. no there's no guarantee. Good, good chance we'll screw it up. We're parked in front of Murphy's pub and I guess Somewhere along the back alley behind Murphy's Pub is a secret door with a with red light. With a red light and a code. You gotta have a code. So you have to make a reservation by texting them, and then if they have space for you, they will give you the code. So we have the code, we're good to go, we're in. So we're back here with these guys again. <laughs> I don't know if you're in frame. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, because I'm the shorty. I gotta hold <laughs> it like, I gotta hold like way out <laughs> here. Just bend our knees a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and sure. I'll go on my toes here. <laughs> All right. She'll find it. it, okay? <laughs> it's through the back alley door of Murphy's Pub, Mark, marked employees only. Maybe it's right on the other side. Is this the part where we get robbed? <laughs> yeah, right? And you think it's that? That's the thing. Employees only. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Texas, let us know how it is. This could all be a joke. It could be. It's actually just us tricking you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a speaker? Yeah. yeah. What's the code? So the code is 1528 star. Oh, it's open. Oh! <laughs> Do we just lock in? Yeah. Going in. <laughs> oh, that is still cool. Like, oh, wow. Oh, my feet. Good. What are these? So, what is along the side of it that was burning? Um, that was absent. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll sprinkle cinnamon on it. Okay. We thought, what better thing to do on our icky Saturday afternoon than to check out the Indian dealership in Sturgis. Maybe so. get a, some, a discount on some old Sturgis 19 or 79th Sturgis teas. You don't know what you're talking about. I do, but I, yeah. do, I just put a big fresh piece of gum on it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Clearly custom. Yeah. And, oh, it's got a bag on it. Somebody's personal ride. Yeah. because we got people waiting for us. <laughs> going for a ride today to the Badlands. Yes, we are actually going with a couple that we met in um, Arizona. It's almost time to leave Sturgis. Yeah. So we got one last ride. One more. So Chaz and Margie are the couple that we met when we were in Arizona. They were work camping there as well as Ray and Evelyn, their friends. Mm -hmm. But we had to make one stop before we got to the Badlands. It was on the way. A little town called Wall, South Dakota. And apparently it's pretty well known for wall drug. I'd never heard of it before. People are like, you've never heard of wall drug? I've yeah. heard of Walmart. It's not like Walgreens or Walmart or, you know, it's not like a yeah, chain. Right. It's just this little thing. It's one store, but it's huge. I was going to say, it's not so little anymore. Yeah. There are signs for it, just signs and signs and the signs. The entire way from Sturgis to Wall, South Dakota was, I swear, every mile there was a sign. One of the signs said, free donut for veterans. So I wanted my donut. <laughs> The city of Wall, South Dakota is home to 800 year-round residents, and because of Wall Drug, it is drawing in more than 2 million visitors a year. In the peak season, it's up to 20,000 visitors a day. It's a lot. Veterans get free donuts. Yeah, but, but not, not, the, this kind. not that kind. Okay. 
taco cat spelled backwards is taco cat. <laughs> and like Chad said, it's just this store after store after store after store after store. You it's, know, it's, a lot it's, of it's junk, it's, but... Uh, it's, it's what, do you, what do you call that stuff? Nick Souvenirs, Nick 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 uh, for that. It was interesting, though, to, to walk around. They had leather goods, and they had some old antique pistols and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you got your donut. It's funny because the story of how Wild Drug became a success was a simple idea. And I, apparently, it was offering road-weary travelers free ice water. <laughs> yeah. And it was ice water that brought these people into this drugstore initially. And then I guess it just grew from there. From Wall Drug, it was only about another seven and a half, eight miles yeah. to the Badlands National Park entrance. Yes, straight, straight shot. Straight shot, 240 east, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's very diverse and it's like you're on another planet. It was crazy cool and different. And I it, felt like I needed a spacesuit walking yeah. around there because well, it was so, it was it like. It was like flat prairie, 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 bam. Like canyons, canyons and, and rock formations and all kinds of different colors because there's so many different geological formations mm -hmm. in this area. Yeah, this is one of those areas where the, the soft hills and weird colors in the sedimentary layers are formed from erosion, mm -hmm. and they lose actually about an inch a year in erosion. It's crazy. Like stars on the carpet, I never try to reach you. Is that your girl in white? Paint it up with stolen dimes. I'll try to say I'm happy for you. Like a lot of national parks, pets are prohibited from the hiking trails, the public areas, the restrooms. You know, and a lot of that is to protect the geology and ecology around those areas. So please be respectful of that and don't take your pets. So many times we see these pets prohibited, please don't do it, and then there's pets. There are a couple of campgrounds in Badlands National Park. One is more of a backcountry, primitive, very small park that you cannot have pets with you. But then the main campground, you can have your pets there. They also have Cedar Pass Lodge, which apparently are all brand new cabins. So I don't think it's reopened yet because of COVID, but when it does, those are probably gonna be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Yellowstone cabins we stayed in. <laughs> if you didn't see our craziness at Yellowstone, be sure to check that out. So that was it. We packed up and hit the road, headed east to Indiana. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. They buried Wild Bill right next to the cell tower so he could have good Wi-Fi. I wonder if we can get through this without the neighbor's dogs coming out and barking. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Ready? So I guess the story is Seth Bullock wanted to be buried up here on this hill outside of the cemetery because he was very close to General Custer. 
Oh, right? Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, the the the, <laughs> the panting walk knocked it out of here. My brain's not getting okay, so my brother's neighbor's dogs suck. They're gonna start barking the entire time. Watch. So I wanna say, um Shut up. Shut Let's wake her in altitude. It appears you're at 5,024 feet. Liar, liar. Okay, Chad. Let's play current altitude. You're fine. Looks like Somebody's you're at 5,024 feet. It doesn't know. It doesn't really know. Birds and dogs, oh my. Come this way, dude. a touch. You keep, you keep trying to get away from me. Do I stink? Yeah, yeah. The end of our stay in Sturgis was getting close, gathering nigh. No. <laughs>